Music from outer space. Synth DIY. Hi, this is Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space, and I'd like to show you our latest product. We're calling it the MFOS Synth DIY Experimenter Board. The MFOS Synth DIY Experimenter Board has a total of 11 modules that you can build if you'd like. You don't have to build them all. You can build from one to all 11. There are two simple LFO circuits, two voltage-controlled oscillators. These are not one volt per octave oscillators, but rather sound effect oscillators for sirens, birds, drones, bells, that type of thing. There are two simple VCA circuits, two simple attack release envelope generators, two low pass voltage controlled filters, and lastly, a white noise source. This area of the circuit board is actually for kludging, and there are two spare op amps so that you can add your personal touch to this project. Of course, before I can start selling circuit boards, I have to make sure the circuit board works. So I built up all of the modules on the board into this sound generator box. Here are the two oscillators. And notice there are banana jacks everywhere because all of these modules are interconnectable via banana cables. Here's the white noise generator, the two voltage controlled filters, the two voltage controlled amplifiers, the two low frequency oscillators, and the two attack release envelope generators. Now I also added some simple attenuators. These are nothing more than potentiometers wired as adjustable voltage dividers. And then I took the two spare op amps and I made two mixers. This one takes signals and mixes them to send to the outside world, and this one is for mixing signals to put into the filters or the VCAs. Each of the voltage controlled oscillators has two control voltage in jacks and one output jack. You can change the waveform of the oscillator from a triangle wave to a square wave. And of course, you can adjust the initial frequency. The white noise generator has two outputs and of course, a level adjust. Each of the voltage controlled filters has a cutoff frequency adjustment and a resonance adjustment. There's an input, an output, and two control voltage inputs. Each of the voltage controlled amplifiers has a modulation control, two amplitude modulation inputs, an input and an output for the signal. Each of the LFOs has a rate control, an output level control, two output jacks, a rate indicator LED, a high and low range switch, and of course the ability to switch between triangular and square waves. Each of the envelope generators has an attack time control, a release time control, an output level control, an external gate in, a manual gate button, a mode switch to set it to gated mode or triggered mode, and two output jacks. I mentioned before that there are two spare op amps that are accessible in the kludge area of the PC board. This mixer was made using one of those op amps. There are three inputs and an output level. One of the inputs allows you to set the phase of the signal. I used the second op amp to make this other three input mixer. It's a simple inverting mixer and has two outputs. These two attenuators are not connected to the circuit board. They're simply two potentiometers that are wired as variable voltage dividers. Whatever signal you put into the input, you can adjust the level of with the knob and the output then is that level that you've set. The repeat gate outputs, one for LFO1 and one for LFO2, are nothing more than the outputs of the comparators that are in the LFOs. I found that that level of signal was necessary to drive the external gate ins on the attack release envelope generators. Music from outer space. Synth DIY.